You guys know that Venus and Apollo, they eat raw, but for Bowser, we actually cook his meals. And a lot of time people have asked us why we don't cook for Venus and Apollo. So on this video, we are gonna show what we would cook if it was for Venus and Apollo and for Bowser. I have been giving Bowser mainly chicken with a little bit of ground beef and vegetables. So we are gonna be introducing now also seeds like chia and hemp also sesame seed that we've been giving Venus and Apollo for a really long time now and I'm gonna make like a little recipe that will last a few days because he's so tiny even if I cook like only one Thai it will be for like two meals so and anyway I don't want to cook every single meal I want to have his food at least for three to four days because I also don't want it to go bad. Though I saw a video that if we froze it, we could have it for up to a week or two. So I'm going to check for that video again and maybe try that. We will see. So I mainly do the groceries at Publix as well as Wild Fork. For the fresher products, I go to Publix and for the things I could purchase frozen like the chicken i go to wild fork venus and apollo they love pumpkin and it's really good for their gut health but i hate cutting pumpkin it's so hard i have to use like five different knives one to cut the inside one to deal with it it's terrible 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 but it's good for them and they love the flavor The next one is sweet potato, which is also hard, and that's why I want to get rid of that one first. While I cut and prep everything else, the sweet potato and the pumpkin, they will be going to the microwave to get soft. I add some water and put it in the microwave for 6 minutes. In the meantime, I will keep cutting the rest of the stuff. Dogs can eat all color of pepper, the green one, the yellow one, the orange one, and the red one. But supposedly the red one is the best one for them. According to the internet, it's the one that have the highest vitamin and mineral content. about you but i hate these stickers the fruit and vegetable green especially this one that came inside a bag why do they need stickers i don't get it i know i could technically put the full pepper on the mix but we also are gonna add fresh veggies and fresh fruits when we serve to them every day so that's why i'm only putting half but if this is going to be the only food that you're gonna give them and you're not gonna add fresh vegetables or fresh fruit then you could do the whole thing. I'm gonna cut it in tiny pieces so it's easier for the blender to cut it up, but you don't have to if you have a big food processor. Which we also have, but I could not find the blade to cut the stuff, so I'm gonna be using my Ninja Blender instead. The next ingredient is broccoli rosettes. I buy this one organic, they're frozen. Sometimes I buy the actual thin, but I found that this one bring a lot more for the same price. I'm adding a spinach. We don't always put spinach only if we purchase them to make like salads and stuff and we have them. I don't purchase them all the time.
And I buy this ground beef that is only 7% fat. If it's too fatty, it makes their poop very soft. And I don't want to pick up that when we're in our walks. So I prefer to buy it more lean with only 7% fat. In the near future, I want to buy a meat grinder and do our own ground beef. Like that, I could also add a little bit of bone and organ. And this is the reason I'm wearing gloves, because we have to mix everything really well. Mix it, mix it until everything is together. And to me, this feels so disgusting. So that's why I use gloves. If you're okay touching food like this with your bare hands, you could do it too. I found a few large pieces that I'm taking out for the next time that I use the blender. I could put them in and get them grinded. Next is liver. Venus and Apollo, they don't love liver just like this if I cut it into pieces, but if it's mixed with other stuff or if it's dehydrated, they like it. Today I'm using chicken thighs. I like to variate between thighs and breasts depending if we are eating from them or not. Everything else is from Publix where the chicken thighs are from wild fork and they always come frozen. With the chicken, I'm gonna be adding also eggs with their shells. Their shells are really good for calcium. And regularly, Venus and Apollo, they are picky with the shells. Sometimes they eat it, sometimes they don't. But if they're grinded, they will eat it with their food. Next I'm gonna add hemp seed and this one is kind of hard to find here. I always have to order them online from Target. The chia seed is easier to find but anyway I get it from Target because you have to do like a $35 minimum for you to get delivery. So I like to add a few things when I'm ordering them online. Next, I'm adding sardines. These ones are in water, but you could also use the one on olive oil. Just make sure they're not the spicy ones. Apollo, he loves sardines. And you could see him here trying to lick the air because he could smell the sardines and he wants one. Now I'm adding a little bit of ginger in powder. It's great for anti-inflammatory and it helps 
to relieve the pain on the joints and Venus have beginning of arthritis so I like to give her some things that are anti-inflammatory like ginger. I'm gonna do the half the is for Bowser in the Ninja Foodie Air Fryer slash Kruger. And I'm gonna do a little bit of olive oil. And on Bowser mix, I'm only gonna mix the meat and the chicken. I'm not gonna add the sardine. He has never had sardines before and I don't know if he will like them. This is Bowser's mix and like I mentioned I only put the chicken and the meat mixes. I'm leaving the sardines out for the one I'm gonna make for Venus and Apollo. Venus and Apollo they're used to eat their food raw so I'm just gonna serve it just like that for Apollo. Uh, for Venus today I'm gonna cook it but hers I'm gonna do it I think in the grill with the sardines because she have her tooth done today and she's a little picky so i want her to have a lot of flavor like that she will eat it but for apollo i'm just adding the stuff that we normally add the coconut oil some yogurt some fruit i'm not gonna add a lot of vegetable or anything because the mix have vegetable so this is what he's getting today another 10 more minutes to Bowser's mix so in total it was 30 minutes in the Ninja Foodie. This amount here is around 8 to 10 servings for Bowser. More or less the two small one I will divide it in two and the big one in four more or less. For the Venus, for the next few days, I'm gonna do it meat love style. So I'm gonna put here a little bit of olive oil spray, and I put the meat, the chicken, and the sardine mix, mix it all together, and I'm gonna put it in the grill. It looks very wet, so I'm gonna leave it with the tap on for like 20 minutes to absorb all the liquid. She's drunk. She had a surgery in her mouth to remove a broken molar and also they have to refix her titanium crown. They had a fall out. So she's very drunk and she's very picky today. This meatloaf casserole should be enough for two full days for Venus, breakfast and dinner. For breakfast she eats like a really small bowl, but for dinner she eats around two to one and a half pounds of food. For reference, this is the small bowl that she eats for breakfast. Sit. <coughs> Well, that was it for today's Malamute cooking show and today's video. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye!